guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is the start of a new stitching vlog. And I promise I will not overwrite this clip. Yeah, cause we are filming on a Saturday. So I, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I was going to a new hairstylist after my debacle somewhat with my other one. And it is really hard to capture how awesome the hair color truly is. I mean, my office is pretty dark, but it is like if you put fall in a blender and mixed it up and put it on my hair. Um, she did cut it and yeah, I mean, cause my hair was like down to here. So I wanted something shorter. I wanted more layers. It hadn't been cut in like three months, but it has shades of blonde. See the blonde, blonde, really bright red, like in here. See that bright red brown. I mean, it is so, I love it. And Kayla was fantastic. Loved her. I was there for five fucking hours, but it was well worth it. And I read a lot of my book <laughs> on my Kindle when I was there. So yeah, so very happy. And um, it was much needed. My hair was way, way too dark at the roots, but I am glad that I didn't go like blonde, blonde, like I was going to, because I feel like my coloring is more suited to this red coppery. I've always loved red hair, but it's really hard to maintain it. So I'm going back in eight weeks and Kayla said, we'll assess it then. If you feel like eight weeks is too long, we can do seven. She's fantastic. The salon is very busy, but it's very professional. She has her own assistant that shampoos and does all that. A fucking plus, you know? Okay. So I did do a tiny bit of stitching yesterday. And I have to say, thank you so much to everyone who sympathized with me stopping on Phoenix. And yes, could I frame what I have done? Absolutely. Um, I surely could. But the thing is, I want to restitch Phoenix on 18 count. Now that I know what two threads on 18 count can look like, I really, really want to do it because especially if I can handle stitching it on black. So I'm going to restitch it. There's no two ways about it. So I did get some stitching done. <gasps> Look at that bright blue color. Ha ha. That color is DMC 3846. Oh my God. Right. It almost matches back here. But yeah, so I started this square down here is this triangle down here is also three, eight, four, six. It's just looking so fucking good. Right. And yeah, now somebody brought up a really good point. So this is, you know, undyed Ada, meaning it's not hand dyed, like hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie or uh, fiberlicious. So what happens when dyers dye fabric, it shrinks the holes. So that may be why I thought on that piece of picture, this plus, it was two strands was too bulky. So I need to keep that in mind. I still think one strand, it's going to have to be two strands because one strand was still too light of coverage on that. But yeah, so that was a good point. Um, because she even said if you took 16 count Ada, that's hand dyed and use two strands, it would probably give really good coverage. I love 18 count and it almost makes me want to restart my modern folk embroidery piece on 18 count. I'm obsessed now. And it's funny because Bill and I were in the hot tub last night. We have a hot tub. We've had a hot tub now for eight years. We love it. We get it in every single night. And so it's a way for us to sit and really chat without the TV and blah, blah, blah. So we're in there last night and I'm like, I really am loving my project. And he's like, well, why do you love it? Okay. So I start telling him, right? He cannot wrap his brain around stopping and starting multiple projects. 
and I try to explain it. I said, you know, unless you're really a stitcher, you probably aren't going to understand it because I said, okay, we were talking about the modern folk embroidery piece. He said, well, why don't you just work on that? And I said, well, first of all, it's probably going to take me an entire year to stitch it, right? He said, well, it would be a really awesome piece of needlework. I said, yes. I said, but would you build a fishing rod if it took you a whole year to do it, right? And I said, you know, I usually am a one at a time stitcher. I said, I'm finding my way. I said, even though I've been stitching for like 35 years, your taste change, the way you do things change. I said, I'm not going to put constraints on myself with my hobby because I have obligation and constraint in every other part of my life. And he's like, that's a good point. He's like, but just all the money. I'm like, don't even fucking get me started on what he has spent on fishing See, his thing is, not that he starts something and doesn't finish it, like I have, you know, five or six whips out there. He will buy something, use it once or twice, and then get tired of it. Like, he bought this remote control truck that you can, like, drive in the mud, and it costs $600. He's used it once, and it's sitting, and he's like, well, that's different. No, it's not. No, it is not. Yeah. But yeah, isn't this looking fantastic? I can't. And I have got so many of you stitching these. It's so great though. It really is. And she has a couple new ones that she came out with and I can't wait to get them. And yeah, I can't wait to get my one, two, three stitch order. So I did get an order from Lindy Stitches. Stephanie, love her. This is a Cottage Garden Sampling's Christmas Sampler 2. They have a couple of these type of patterns out. I have the Halloween one. They have a Valentine's Day one. And they have, they have a Christmas one. There's another Christmas one. But this popped up in my Facebook feed, believe it or not. So, yeah, I didn't have this. I really like it. Wouldn't it look good on 18 count Ada? <laughs> or 36 count linen. See, I bought some pieces of linen. So we're going to see because... I'm just going to do all the things, right? All right, so I did have a subscriber, Vanessa. Um, she bought me a Carolyn Manning Designs pattern, and it popped up in my email this morning, and I was like, I didn't buy a pattern. But then it said, hello, Vanessa. <laughs> and I was like, oh, somebody bought me a pattern. Vanessa, thank you so much. I don't have this pattern. I'm going to show you what it is. It is called Make a Wish. It is so utterly gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Oh, and color. Look at that. Ah! Can you even right now? What that will look like stitched up. How big is that? 155 by 155, so it's even smaller than Northern Lights. It says charter with DMC, but there is room to substitute some of your own threads. And why would you want to do that? It says a colorful combination of watercolor quilt, color wheel, and simple granny squares. I absolutely love it. Vanessa, thank you so much. I did not buy that one. You know, hadn't really seen it because I was looking at the ones like Northern Lights that are considered the Shooting Star series. But yeah, Bill's hunting today. It is, what time is it? 4.21 here. And he's hunting and he probably won't be home until 7, 8 o'clock. So I'm going to do some stitching. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. On this bad boy. Because I didn't do anything yesterday. Um... We got through a week of the arbitration, a straight week, and yesterday wasn't too bad. Except there's always some little annoyances that happen during the day, but, you know, that's normal. But I made fucking bank this week. <laughs> it's good to have a really good paycheck, because trust me, I earn every goddamn cent of that. Okay, so I am going to end this clip. I will not have one on Sunday, probably, but... 
I will see you guys again on Monday. So I should definitely have some progress because I'm going to stitch today. I'm going to stitch tomorrow. Oh, yes. Hey, guys. Today is Sunday, November 14th. And Sundays in our house are usually very low key, meaning no makeup. I'm in comfortable clothes. I don't fix my hair. Um, we usually try to relax. We do have groceries delivered, but it's very usually a very low key day because we're just going, 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 you know, the rest of the week. So I decide I did stitch yesterday. So I wanted to come on here. Bill's doing some yard work. So, and I don't do yard work. <laughs> so I wanted to come on here and show you guys the progress that I did yesterday. And so many of you are stitching the Carolyn Manning designs. It's so awesome that so many of you are, you know, enjoying these projects. So part of my Sunday usually is perusing Instagram and Facebook and looking at group my groups and stuff. Remember, I am stitching Northern Lights on 18 count Ada, two strands over one square fantastic I mean and I had someone comment yesterday that said they're stitching watermelon tourmaline or one of the Carolyn Manning designs and they ran into the same problem I did on Phoenix where they counted over and they only have like less than a half inch at the edge and they were like I'm just so gutted and I'm just so gutted for both of us and you know Yes, I invested a lot of time into that. I mean, I was well into page two on that design. But, you know, I chalk it up to experience. I really am not too terribly upset because now that I know about 18 count, I want to restitch it on 18 count. I think it'll look fantastic. Now, I don't think I'll do it on black. I don't know. I might do like a dark navy blue maybe. But yeah, I think it'll look so good. I mean, the colors are just so gorgeous and saturated on 18 count. I mean, so here's my progress. And yeah, I know you can like see through it. But um, I have to, I'd have to hold up something. I don't have anything. I need one of those big white boards some of you have. But um, yeah, let me try to, let me just use the pattern. So, oh, that's better. Yeah. Um, so I stitched these blocks and I decided, I know I like finishing my threads on the front. Boy, all those little threads though, you can see I, I took time yesterday and I ended all of them on the back. Uh, what was happening was when I was stitching these, I was catching the other threads and they were like looping in the back. They were doing weird things. So I think in the future, I'm just going to be flipping it over and ending my threads like normal because doesn't it look just so much nicer and neater having all of those threads just ended. So I will definitely stitch some more tonight because Bill, you know, has work tomorrow. So oh, it's just looking so good. It's looking so good. But yeah, absolutely love those patterns. And I can't wait to get the stabilizer bar um for the Lowry from Lovecraft because although I have this set where really right now I have it set where you know it's not too heavy and it will um it doesn't really hang too much it'll be even better when I get that stabilizer bar so the table clamp though game changer for sure absolutely love it and the fact that i'll be able to take it to retreats is just amazing okay so the other thing that i wanted to show you and talk about so remember i was talking about you know two strands on 18 count two strands on 16 count and there are a lot of people that do three strands on 14 count three strands does not appeal to me at all only because managing three strands you can't do the loop method and just finagling with three strands. But on 14 count, it would give amazing coverage. So I was looking at the Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook group today, and someone was like, how many strands do I do on 18 count? Blah, blah, blah. Someone said they do 
on 14 count, no, on 16 count, they do, or 18 count, they do one strand of sulky. So if you don't know what sulky threads are, I have the whole set. Sulky actually sent them to me to review many, many years ago. And more designers now, I feel like, are using them. So let me show you. And they're not cheap, though, like to get the whole set. But you can buy, like, little sets. They come, like, the big sets come in, like, these plastic containers. Oh, God. And it's coming apart. But let me show you what they look like. I did a video on this a long time ago. So, it comes in a spool, which I love, and the top like lifts up, and they come one strand right off of the spool. So what's nice is, the allure of this, obviously, is that you cut what you need, right? So, one strand of sulky is comparable to one and a half strands of DMC. So I'm sitting down there today and I'm looking at the Facebook group and someone says that they use one strand of this on 18 count and it gives really good coverage. And a light bulb went off in my head on 14 count. And I've obviously I haven't tried this yet because I just figured this out today. Instead of doing three strands of DMC, you could do two strands of this and be able to do the loop method and it would be comparable to three strands of DMC. Has anyone done that? I would love to know. Now, the only other drawback to, to using Sulky is that they don't have the huge range that DMC has. So what you would have to do is you would really have to pull the DMC and then try to pick out the Sulky that's comparable to it. There may even be like a conversion chart, but yeah, I mean, DMC has what, 500 colors now? Sulky does not have 500 colors. But what's gorgeous is I'm curious, I, I haven't tried it yet, but like some of the ink circles patterns that I have, Sulky has a really gorgeous like variegated line. They're called blendables. I mean, look at that. I'm at, let me try to. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? And then look at this one. I mean, they have some really, really gorgeous um, threads. And there are some designers, I know hands-on design, you can hear the lawnmower, can't you? I know hands-on design has, um, why does that want to do that? Hands-on design, the designer, they have charted a bunch of things in Sulky. But, I have to, Jesus Christ, right now, I have to try the two strands. I'm definitely going to give that a shot. So, yeah. So, if you guys haven't given Salky a try, I mean, they're, they're just, let me show you. Let me show you the blendables on this side. Let me try to hold this up. Look at that column right there. Can you see it? Aren't they some beautiful blended? You can't really see it. Really gorgeous. Like, let me pull some out. I'll show you. Like, look at that purple one. And then this one. And what's nice is they, all you do to put them back in there, if I can show this properly, is pull this plastic thing and there's a hole in the bottom and they just go right on there. Isn't that so nice? Yeah, I did a better video on it where I had my camera facing directly above, so you were able to, but for ink circles who do a lot of like monochrome patterns, these would be gorgeous. Or like even long dog samplers. They have some re really gorgeous colors. And I think, you know, Sulky hasn't been given enough of a chance, you know? But I am definitely, my next project, I'm definitely going to try something with two strands of it on 18 count. I mean, no, two strands of it on 14 count because I'm really curious if it will give, especially doing like black on something. Because let me tell you, black is pro, or dark colors on 14 count 
is probably one of the worst like little pet peeves I have about stitching because I'm of the mindset or of the party that does, I don't want to see the fabric behind it. I like the, the saturatedness. That's not even a word. I like the way that it looks just seeing the stitches and not seeing the fabric behind it. So yeah, let me know down below. Have any of you tried two strands of Salky on 14 count? May have to pull out like a, a little project and give that a whirl and see what that, cause I have a shit ton of 14 count fabric. I have a bunch of 18 count fabric coming now because I'm bougie like that. Um, want to have, I even moved, let me see if I can show you. I even moved. So my little cart over here, uh, this was full of fabric. I emptied the top of it so I can put my 18 count fabric there. I, my grandmother, when she passed, I'm just gonna turn this. My grandmother, when she passed, she had a Longaberger cake basket. And I took that when we cleaned out her kitchen my mom didn't want it. She doesn't want stuff like that. And so what I did was I put like a whole, I took one whole thing of that Ikea cart and I put my, all of that fabric in there and I actually have it out on the buffet table out there. Um, so I can make room, you know, because in the past, and Jill can attest to this because we've been friends long enough now, we've been friends for like eight years. Um, I will get a BMI bonnet or whatever you want to call it and I'll sell everything I got, sell all my stitching stuff and then two years later I rebuy it. <laughs> like if I would have had, no lie, let me move this because it keeps like the light. Okay. Ah! Wait a minute. Hold please. I have like, okay. Now you can see me, right? Um, why did that not focus? There we go. So if I would have kept, and I could fucking kick myself, all of the hand dyed fabric I had once bought back in like 2000, like 2003, 2004, when I lived in Hagerstown and I was with another guy. I had so much of Heavenly Creations fabric, which is my favorite hand dyed fabric of all time, and Sugar Maple fabrics, which isn't even in business anymore. Um, I had so much of it, and if I would have kept that, holy shit, I would have some beautiful fucking fabric, because I stitched on solely Joblin then, so I would have a bunch of Joblin. But once I got back into stitching again this time, I told my husband, I said, even if I have to put stuff in like storage containers and put it in the closet, I'm not selling anything anymore. I'm, I'll keep it till I die. Seriously. Um, and then somebody will have a really good, yeah, but no, no more. Even if my taste change, I'm not selling stuff anymore because what happens is two years down the road, I want to do it again. Yeah. Um, and let's face it, selling stuff on eBay and or de-stashing, what a pain in the ass it is. It's such a pain. It really is. Um, I'd rather do a giveaway for something like when I ha bought two of the pumpkin patch patterns from Caroline Manning Designs. Um, I gave one away. Like, I would just rather do that, you know. Oh, someone asked me where I got this, this, this plastic thing. So this was from Craft, I want to say it's Craft by Chris on e, um, Etsy. This was like a big project insert. Let me show you, because I have the project bag. Wait a minute. She makes project bags where you can, and I'm going to open it up and show you. Because I originally bought this stuff to do that purpose, but I wound up not doing it. Where you can zipper in the middle these inserts. But when I started stitching and using the plastic clipboards, I wound up taking these inserts and I cut it. Yes, I know. I can see people clutching their pearls now. 
I cut it because it was way too big. I wanted it to fit in the clipboard and I just stapled it. <laughs> so yeah, I just like these holding this, but you could even get probably, um, coin collectors have like, it's almost like a binder insert. Coin collectors have them and they're probably this small. You could probably even buy that. You know what I mean? To use that. Um, she doesn't have but like one thing in her Etsy store now, but if you contacted her, she might be able to make you some. But yeah, I have a couple of these. So I just, you know, I only stitch on one thing at a time. So I love these though, but I didn't have enough for all of the colors as I almost hit myself in the face. So I had to use two of them, but yeah, you can see I cut this one too. Yeah, absolutely love these. She does, she does really good workmanship. And, you know, I don't mind. People get so upset by, like, I mark the original pattern. I highlight the original. When I worked on Mirabilia's, as I got done part of it, I would cut the pattern and throw it away. You would have thought I committed murder by the reaction of people. Um, guess what? You bought it. It's your money. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Yeah, you can. So, and I am also not afraid to tell people that, oh, yeah, I cut that. Because it may give somebody else an idea. Yeah. I'm always just trying stuff, right? But, okay, I'm going to end this here. Like I said, let me know down below if any of you have tried two strands of Salky on 14 count because I'm really curious. I may have to pull out a piece of 14 count just to try it right now. As soon as I end this. Yeah. So I hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. And I will see you tomorrow for another stitching update. Hey guys. Today is Monday, November 15th. And it is time for another stitching update. Because yes, I did stitch last night. Let's go. I switched around my organization a little bit. As far as like where my pattern sits and everything. So I have my pattern over here now instead of on the scroll rod. Okay, so my discussion about Sulky. When I finished my clip on Sunday, I actually pulled out some Sulky and then I pulled out DMC. So here is, here is the top here is two strands of Sulky and then three strands of DMC. I still think the three strands of DMC gives more coverage than the two strands of Sulky. Will I be using three strands of DMC at any time? Um, not anytime soon, but I may give it a whirl. I mean, we'll see. This is, I had actually pulled this out for an ink circles pattern that I wanted to do. Excuse me, so I will put that right back in that little folder. But okay, so I received a gift from a subscriber Angela I went to my PO box this morning and she had sent me a bunch of patterns and stuff so let's see what I got because I didn't open it I literally just cut open I knew one pattern that she bought me and so Silver Creek samplers hissed off yeah so many of you because of my hissing cat needle minder and stuff I love that don't you love that so much Back to the Grind, which I have this one, so I may give this one to Jill. I'm probably going to include it in her Christmas present because that would just be easy, right? Ooh. Oh, these are so cool. Okay. And then she got me some Hindsight Wordplay Java Junkie. These would look really good, actually, on perforated paper. And look, it even comes with like the little charm. This one, I love. Although, wait till you see what it says. You're going to die. When I show this to Bill, he's going to die. I'm going to have to stitch this just for the pumpkin eyes. But it's called Pumpkin Pussy. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I can't. You know they're talking about cat, but. <laughs> I. This is my favorite one. Look how big those eyes are. 
Are you kidding me right now? I, I love that one so much. <laughs> love coffee. Yeah, these would all look so good on perforated paper. Love five o'clock. Yes, please. A drink. Are you kidding? Yeah. Love to read. Ooh, did never saw that one. Love that one. And last stitch cemetery. Started and forgotten. Half stitched. Too old. Lost. Oh my God. This is all of us, isn't it? Angela, thank you so much for all of these. I'm telling you. This cat one. This one just takes the cake. Like, I have to stitch that one. <laughs> Pumpkin pussy. I can't. I can't. You know. Come on, hindsight. Come on. When you designed that, you didn't think that somebody would be like, yeah, right? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Angela, thank you so much. When I show this to Bill, I'm not going to say anything. When he comes in from and be like, oh, one of my subscribers got me a pattern and I want you to here, take a look at it and see if he notices. Oh my God. He's probably going to die just like I did. Okay. Stitching progress because they are getting ready to go back on the record. We are on the lunch break from the arbitration. So I did do some stitching yesterday. I am moving right along on this and I actually decided to, oh, come on, you motherfucker. I actually decided, Jesus Christ, right now, to um, stitch over. I wanted to see how wide the first page is. Wait a minute, let me see. I'll use the back of this envelope. Isn't it looking so fantastic? So I stitched a couple of these and then stitched over. What I think I'm going to do is you see how these like squares on their side, I'm going to stitch the other squares and, and probably go through the whole thing maybe and stitch those squares. There are a couple people that stitch these that do that and then they just fill in the other stitching. We'll see because it's easy. Those like stick out in the pattern. You can, those are easily delineated. I love this so much. Remember, I am stitching this on 18 count Ada, two strands over one square. This is Nougat 18 count Ada by Zweigert. I have it linked in the description box. I bought another piece of this because it is just such a perfect color. I can see the holes very easily. So I love it so much. And two strands covers perfect. I mean, you can't see any fabric through that. Let's go. Oh, yes. I'm loving this one so much. I can't wait to start filling in more of it. And yeah, I have to take this to the retreat because I could really go gangbusters on it there because you get a lot of you get a lot of stitching time. And I mean, I'm going I'm actually going earlier to this one because I'm leaving like Thursday night that Thursday as soon as the arbitration is done for the day. And so I'll have all day Friday, all day Saturday. So I will be able to get a substantial amount done. And I know, <laughs> I know there's going to be people that are going to be like, what happened to your other one? Because I stitched, I was the only project I brought last time was Phoenix. So yeah, this is Northern Lights. I know you guys know what that is, but that's the name of the pattern, Northern Lights. And uh, I love it so much. And these are my arabesca scroll rod frames. And I have all that stuff linked in the description box. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another stitching update. I'm definitely going to stitch again tonight. And I know I'm due orders from 123 Stitch. And I don't know if they're coming today. Something is coming today. If so, I'll show you guys what I got. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, November 16th. And it is time for another stitching update. Yay! I did stitch last night and I think I made good progress. You know, I 
I don't get to stitch for very long, um, but bit by bit by bit. So remember, I'm working on Carolyn Manning Designs Northern Lights. And I am stitching it on 18 Count Ada in the color Nougat by Zweigert. It is linked in the description box below. I'm doing two strands over one square of Ada. And here's my progress. So I worked, I did this, I did these. Yeah, I didn't do very much last night, but believe it or not, that, I mean, it's solid stitching. It's looking good though, right? And I have no rhyme or reason as to where I go on this piece. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably start filling in here because I like to actually, when I worked on Phoenix, what I did was I just made my way over because this is the end of page one right here. So, but yeah, I love the bright blues like this color down there. Yeah. But yeah, it's looking pretty good, right? Okay. And I did get yesterday in um, two orders from 123 Stitch I'd place. And I feel like there's another order outstanding because I just, that one day I was just like shopping like crazy. So I did receive some fabric. Remember, I had ordered a couple pieces of 36 count linen. Holes are way too small. Um, if I'm going to stitch on 18 count, I'm going to stick to Ada. But I like to have some different types of fabric just as reference. So if I ever like, oh, I want to stitch on 36 count linen, let me go pull that out so I can say no. But I got um, aqua. Yeah, the, the holes are really small on this. Um, country mocha. And then a lavender. I love lavender, love purple. But then the Ada, which I really loved, and I'm really glad that I got more Ada. This is another another um, piece of nougat, because it's just such a wonderful neutral. I really, really like that. I also got, this is sand. This is light pewter, so like a gray. And then I got antique blue. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I mean, you can tell. I mean, you can see the holes in this Ada very clearly. Versus, let me hold up a piece of linen. 18 count linen. Yeah. Um... What's funny is Silk Weaver was having a sale, a Facebook sale, a flash sale the other day. And I turned to my husband and I said, I'm just going to warn you that when I go to the floss tube retreat in New Jersey next July, that I'm going to be spending some money on fabric. And he was like, what? And I said, you know, I only buy fabric when I can actually go to their store. They have a whole wall of fabric. I think I last time at the last retreat, I spent like two hundred dollars there. Mhm. Mm yeah, so I'm just telling you. <laughs> okay, and then I got some Carolyn Manning Designs patterns. So I remember I told you I wanted to buy another Phoenix because I am going to do it over. I am definitely going to stitch this. This is too beautiful to not do again on eighteen count, and it's going to look stunning. But I had like already marked up and tore apart my other pattern, so. Got another one. And then I also got Starstruck, which isn't that so stunning? They're all so beautiful. If you do not follow the hashtag on Instagram for Carolyn Manning Designs, you're really missing out because the work that people have done. Oh my God. And you know, this will be something that, you know, you're working up close to it. And when you get like a certain section done and you step back from it, that's when you're really going to be able to see it coming together. And then I also got Farmer's Market, which is one of her new releases. It's so gorgeous. 
There are two other ones I want, um, Ocean Tide and the Grandma's Lilacs. Um, 123 Stitch doesn't have them yet because I want the hard copy. Isn't that stunning? Yes, it is. Then I got the quilt sampler. I saw someone stitching this on Carolyn Manning Designs Facebook group and I about killed over. It is so utterly gorgeous and large blocks of color in some spots. Where, you know, I'm of the mindset, like, if I was going to stitch this pink star, I would totally outline it, stitch the green square in the middle, and then all you have to do is fill in the square. You don't have to, like, count. Or the star. That's how I do stuff like that. And I think even um, Fat Quarter Shop did, like, a little tutorial on it. Like, how they do it, too. Like, showing you how you can do it. It does make it easier so you don't, you know, have to count so much. And then finally, I did buy When Stars Collide because I absolutely love the setup of this pattern. Ocean Tide is set up like this. This reminds me actually of Counted Canvas work. It made me think of Needle Delight's Originals Rainforest Crunch, if you're familiar with that pattern. Just the way that it's just different blocks that fit together. And this is just so stunning. I love it. Yeah. Now, what I like about Carolyn Manning Designs patterns is that um, the, it's printed on really good cardstock, and the symbols, for the most part, are nice and big. Um, they're a little smaller on this, but still doable. And yeah, I, I know so many of you use like Pattern Keeper and Good, I almost said Goodreads, Good Notes and stuff like that. I always wind up going back to physical paper copies. I just like using that and using a highlighter. So, but that's it. That's all I got. And, um, I hope you guys liked seeing the update, the patterns, the fabric, and I will see you tomorrow with another stitching update. Hey guys, today is Wednesday, November 17th, and it's time for another update. So I did get in the mail yesterday the stabilizer bar for the Lowry. And I looked at Teresa Little Stitcher's setup and how she did it, but I didn't like it for my scroll rods. So I think it will work better in the regular Lowry, not the table clamp, the one that just has, not with the corner clamp. If I had the regular clamp, it would work better where it's flat. The corner clamp, it, I just couldn't get it to work. So I will keep it because there may be a time down the road that I use my other regular clamp instead of the corner clamp. Um, and I should probably try the regular clamp because the corner clamp I feel is really, really perfect for um, Q-snaps, but since I'm using a scroll rod, I'm going to have to pull out my other clamp. So we'll see, because I might be able to use it then. You know, the stabilizer bar was to work so you it would be equally weighted so your scroll rod didn't hang like this. Um, but I did receive in the mail something I ordered from Fat Quarter Shop. Someone, one of my subscribers, had let me know that for 18 count, she uses the Clover Snag Repair Needles, and they're a little bit thinner. So I bought a set of those, and she's right. It is pretty thin, so I definitely will use that one um, instead of the thicker one, which I have here. Um, I will go ahead and use that thinner one, so thank you for that. And I know uh, some of you do not watch my true crime videos that I do every day. Um, I'm filming this on Wednesday. Yesterday, Bill received a phone call from his brother-in-law, Bill's sister has taken a turn for the worse, so Bill flew out to Nashville um, this morning. I've been awake since 3.30. It took him to the airport, booked him a hotel, got him a rental car. Um, he is going to be there very soon now, and um, he's going to be there until Friday, barring if she passes. I'm not sure what's going to happen or how long he's going to be there. But um, they didn't expect her to make it 24 hours. Um, she had COVID and she's been in the hospital for about five weeks now. And she was doing better. So 
things can turn around though for the worse. And so that's what's going on with that. Um, yeah, he is currently on his way to Nashville as we speak. So I did do some stitching last night. Again, like I said, I'm working on uh, Carolyn Manning Designs Northern Lights. And I'm working it on 18 Count Ada by Zweigert in the color Nougat. It's all linked down below. And I got quite a bit done last night. I got done like these squares, this, I filled this in, did this little star and did that. I, I did quite a bit last night. Yeah. Um, I stayed up later than I normally would. And um, yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. It looks really good in the viewfinder. It's going to look so good as I continue to just get more and more done. Um, I absolutely love it on the 18 count. Yeah, no doubt about that. So I am going to end this here, guys. I know this is a short segment, but I am really tired and we have the arbitration today and I have about an hour before I need to get to work. So I'm going to try to get another cup of coffee in my system and just get through the day. So I will see you guys tomorrow because I surely will be stitching tonight. Um, even that bill won't be here. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Thursday, November 18th, and it is time for another cross stitch update. So I did stitch. Remember Bill is in Nashville, so I had time yesterday for sure. I wanted to show you though, I switched out my clamp. I switched from the corner clamp to the, just the regular clamp for the Lowry, and I wanted to show you, let me try to... I'm trying to just bear with me for a second. So there is the normal clamp. I have my, this is the key for it. And I have it magnetic to this. I like this clamp. One minute. Bear with me for a second as I get this tripod straightened up. Um, I like using this clamp much better. And, um, there's no, like the, the scroll frame is not, I'm trying to get this off of here so I can show you my progress. The scroll frame, I don't need the support bar. I, I think, you know, a lot of people use that for when they have like a big millennium frame or something like that. But here is my progress on Northern Lights. Yeah, I got a lot done, didn't I? So I'm just starting to fill in like all in here. Um, the final episode of Dope Sick was on Hulu. So I watched that yesterday while I stitched on this and it's coming along. It's looking really good, right? Yeah, I mean, look at it back here. Mm. I can't wait till I get to stitch more of like this blue color. I love that blue color. But yeah, it's looking really, really good. And you know, it's hard when you look at it like that to envision the project finished. Because if you look, here's the whole thing. I mean, I'm only right here, you know? But, oh my God, right? Yeah. So, love it. Just love working on it so much. And remember, I'm stitching it on 18 count Ada in the color Nougat two strands of thread over one. So I joined a bunch of cross stitch groups the other day, and one of them is called full coverage fanatics. And I wanted to read you this post because I think a lot of us can relate to this. And there's like 109 comments on this. So I'm going to read some of the comments. So this person said, I need some honest advice and maybe tough love. I made a full coverage custom pattern to stitch something like 450,000 stitches in it. I am a slow stitcher with a short attention span. Whenever I sit down to stitch, I can put about 100 stitches in it before I'm done for the day. If I put 100 stitches in it every single day, I will be done in about 13 years. And I know I can't do 100 stitches a day every day because life, so it will be longer than that. 
So she said, my knee jerk reaction would be just to toss it because I've hardly started and that's a huge commitment. I think back on all the life I've lived the last 13 years and holy cow. But I think there must be someone out there that doesn't think keeping it for 13, 15, 20 years is totally outlandish. I'm so totally in love with the pattern that I just want it on my wall. And it's not an interest that will fade, so I know I will still love it for years and years to come. I don't know. What would you all do? So you know a lot of people are going to weigh in on that, right? So I'm going to read you some of the comments because I really, um, I just really liked the, some of the, they all have been encouraging to her. Um, someone said, I've been working intermittently on a pattern since 2006. It doesn't matter how long it takes if it makes you happy. Someone said, sometimes those projects have the best stories. Um, and someone suggested, you know, stitch it five, 10, a hundred stitches, whatever makes you happy, just stitch it. They said, one day you may find a rhythm and you stitch 500 stitches and the next you only stitch 13 stitches, but guess what? It doesn't matter. You know, people are saying, um, wow, this person says, I have a Teresa Wensler I started after I was diagnosed with cancer and had a hysterectomy. I pull it out every now and then and begin to work on it. That was 25 years ago. And uh, someone, these people are all saying, just do it. Just yeah. So, um, okay. Now there's one, this one person said bail early. Don't fall for the sunk cost of what you have already done. It'll probably become a chore or something you end up resenting if you have it unfinished in 20 years time. And his suggestion suggestion would be to recreate a smaller version of the pattern, which yeah, that's an option too. Um, and, but a lot of people are saying, stitch it. Don't worry about um, how long it's going to take you. So someone else commented and said, do you love all of it? Stitch it no matter how long it takes. And if you love a part of it, stitch that part and frame it. She said, I, just, I completed just the middle six pages of a Heaven and Earth Designs a few years ago and framed it. That was enough for me, and I love that piece. Um... There's no cross-stitch police. No, there is not. I have said that many, many times. Um, there was one comment I really wanted to... Someone suggested tent stitching to her because tent stitching goes quicker for sure. Wow. That piece they're working on. Holy hell. Someone said, I'm just coming to the end of a project that I've been working on for three years. It's not full coverage, but has 63,000 stitches in it. Yikes. Wow, wow, wow. I wanted to, there was a comment though that I saw where somebody basically said, keep going because a piece like that will have a story with it. Meaning, you know, I remember the one piece I call my chemo piece that Emily C. had sent me the pattern and the, the silk with it. You know, every single piece I look at in here, I can remember almost where I was stitching, what I was doing. So, you know, our pieces tell a story. So, all of this to say... If it's something that you really love, it sometimes it's more about the process than actually finishing the project. Um, yeah, okay. Here's the comment. I found it. This person said, the pleasure is the stitch, the hobby, the mindfulness. Mindfulness. I just downloaded a book on Amazon about mindfulness because I feel like it will help me in so many areas in my life. The mindfulness and doing something you enjoy. Finish it for you when it's done, but consider it part of your life and journey, and it will always trigger memories of people, time, places. It's like a diary. 
That was the, probably the best comment I've read. It is like a diary. Yes, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into these projects. Um, you know, even the diamond paintings. I mean, anything you do, right? So just to say, keep going. Keep going. Okay, guys, I'm going to end that here. Um, I... I just love reading the posts in that group because, boy, there are people with some amazing projects. So I will see you tomorrow for the last clip in this vlog. Hey, guys. Today is Friday, November 19th, and it is time for my last cross-stitch update for this week. So no purchases because, yeah, I, I, I've bought enough stuff, right? But I did, you know, Bill is still out of town. He's coming back tonight. I was able to get done some more stitching on Northern Lights, and I got done quite a bit, I think. Yeah, let me put something behind that. It always helps when you have something behind it. Yeah. So, I just have been just steadily working on it. Um, it looks really good. It, and, you know, I feel like you don't really see it starting to come together until you're, like, done the first page, right? Because I know with Phoenix, it was like, once I got to the second page, you know, you really start seeing it come together. And the fact that we're going to be able to see all three pages side by side is just going to look so fantastic. But, yeah, I love those teals and blues in there. But, yeah. So I will work on it again tonight. Today is uh, the last day of the arbitration for an entire week. Thank fucking God. And um, I don't pick up Bill from the airport until about midnight tonight. So I will have some time to stitch this evening. Because um, I'm done work by like 7. So, But yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Got up late today. Really tired. I think the week has caught up with me. So... As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.